I want to show you guys today is with a rock chip, it's cosmetic, not so much structural, huge. The longer you have a rock chip in your window, the crappier it's going to look because dirt gets in it when your car gets dirty, water gets in it from the car wash, it freezes, it dries out. So if you can still see a rock chip after it's done, it's not that the guy didn't try to do a good job, you got to really think about how long you've actually had that rock chip. If you've had it for a year and a half, you can imagine if you've had something in your house that you haven't moved in a year and a half and you move it, what's under the pressure they are, the better they'll fill in. So I'm just gonna make one and I'm gonna fill it real quick and pass it around. Just kind of get hit by baseball. Probably need a new window. But everybody says the chances of trying to drill it and redo it are slim to none. And you're just gonna make it worse because the more holes you have to put in it, the more noticeable it is. So what this does, we call this a bridge. It's just got a small suction cup that goes in. Probably not break it, trying to move it around a lot. But as it sits on there, you can actually watch a rock chip fill in. And one thing that we do a little different is I'll teach all my guys to just try to fill it. The other chemical we use, which some people won't, is an actual windshield pit resin. And this is what fills in the impact point. So a little dab on there once it goes in. The UV light, like I said, does cure it. <coughs> Out in the sun, it's a little bit harder because you're not gonna get it cured as fast as you, I mean, it cures faster than you want it to, so you have less time. So I'm gonna hurry up and just let this harden up. I'll wash it, pass it around, just so everybody can kind of see what it looks like when you get them fixed right away. And hopefully I didn't take too much time with your bad one. No, it's awesome. Thank you. Okay. 